Hello friends, welcome to feeding.net. In this particular session, we are going to talk about top 4 C Sharp 10 features that every developer should know. So you have it all the four topics on the screen. Let's start with the global using. So global using basically simplifies the management of using directive by allowing them to define globally instead of locally on each class file. So the biggest advantage of this that it reduces your boilerplate code for your uh, project that is it reduces the repetitive using statement that you use on each class file. So here using this you can define them globally you can define them on a single page and every class file will refer from that. So here we have an example here we have used a list generic in program.cs class so that's why we have declared its directive system.collection.generic but since we have defined this as globally and we want to use list generic in some other class within the same project like uh, other class program 1.cs program 2.cs then in that particular class we don't have to define this using statement again and again mm -hmm. it will going to refer from this particular global definition so now let me show you a detailed example where you would learn how to implement global using within a project what should be the correct architecture to implement global using so here i have a project called global using and i have few uh, folders like credit then debit and then i have a program.cs that is the starting point of this uh, project and then we have a class called total balance here point to note that total balance lies within the same hierarchy of global using but this debit and credit card is not within the same hierarchy of global using so whatever is within the same uh, hierarchy of the project that is total balance here if you see i have used total uh, balance class in program.cs and i do not require to use the using statement because total balance is within the same hierarchy of my project but if i want to use credit or debit in program.cs then i have to use the using statement because they are not in the direct hierarchy of global using so now let's start the demo here I have a credit class where I have a credit amount uh, method so whatever amount you send it will add one then I have a debited amount whatever uh, amount you send to debit it will minus one is but basically uh, surcharge is subtracted and here a bonus is added okay then I have a total balance class that takes the initial amount like a person has account he must have some initial amount then someone can credit some amount to him and then whatever he can debit from his account so it's basically a normal formula so here you can see what should be the correct architecture here i you can see i have not using any statement instead what i have done i have created a class called using declaration and here i have declared them globally i have declared them that global uh, using feature that's my project name that and then dot credit that is the class and here is the debit so you can see i do not get any uh, compile time error for debit and uh, credit i am getting the object of credit and debit in the program.cs class but as soon as i comment those two lines you can see now so you can see we have the error it says the namespace could not be found okay so that's the magic so you can just create a single class and declare all your using globally there or it's not mandatory to use a separate class instead you you can uh, declare all your global using in any class you can declare them here as well and if you want to use the credit in some other class like uh, total balance then it will also going to work undo this change let me just run this program to show you so now you can see we have some credit amount it will add one to it it will become 50 then we have a debit amount it will subtract one that is a search chart. then we have 50 and uh, it will going to add the initial amount initial amount i sent 100 so if you can see what is the result so we have the 100 one important point is global using can be accessed within the same project 
so this is the one project so you can use them within same project it's not like you can declare globally here and try to use it from another project or from another solution so now we have the second feature called file scope namespace so here before c sharp 10 the namespace declaration was enclosed within curly braces so here we have the example before c sharp 10 so you can see namespace then we have this curly braces start and then curly braces end and within then curly braces we have the class so now since c sharp 10 the namespace can be declared with a semicolon so here it's an example you can say instead of the curly braces we can declare the namespace using the semicolon so there is no need for curly braces and biggest advantage is the indentation so this reduces the indentation levels makes your code look cleaner and more concise especially in files having only one namespace so now you look at the example here you can see we have the curly braces within the, our namespace as soon as i put a colon you can see the namespace curly braces has been removed and if i try to build my code it will work as good as it was previous moving on to next feature that is interpolated string improvement previously only variables or properties could be directly used within the expression but since c sharp 10 it has provided interpolated strings more flexibility that you can directly invoke method within the interpolated string thus making them dynamic means means you can now allowing them to be dynamic and you can manipulate your interpolated values so so now we have an example we have old and new syntax in old syntax you can say we have a variable name and you can only use that variable within your expression but in new syntax in c sharp 10 you can see you have one variable and then you can apply a function on top of that variable like two upper two lower so that is the biggest advantage now interpolated string has that you can do manipulation within your string expression so now we have same example we have a name variable and we apply two upper in that expression and it become uh, j in caps so now moving on to last feature that is using declaration for new so here in c sharp 10 it introduced a new syntax that allows you to declare and initialize disposable object directly within the using object without the need to declare a separate variable so here you can see we need a separate variable to declare it like we declare a file stream and then we'll try to use the using stream but here in c sharp 10 you can say we have the new object and we store it into the stream variable so here there is no need to declare a separate variable so now I have an example to demonstrate the same. I have a class called write to file. Here I have two methods like write to file using old declaration and write a file using new declaration. So here let's start with the old declaration. Here you can see I have created a file stream object where I have passed the file path and then I uh, assigned a file mode that create. Okay, so now in next step, I am using the using and that particular stream object. Then I am I am having the stream writer object. Then I am passing the exactly what text I want to write in the file. Now look at the new declaration and see what is the difference. So here you can see I have the file stream object and here I also have the file stream object, but I am using the using keyword at the start and here I do not require to write that particular code called using stream so that is the biggest advantage like it reduces your code and both works fine and let's debug this program to show you the impact uh, let's go to the file one writing using old syntax and let's check the file to write using new text new syntax so here both are exactly working the same but the difference is the syntax so I hope this session is pretty much helpful to you in case you have any query just ping me on comment and you will I will provide you this code on my github library please check out my description section and in case you like my video please do subscribe my channel thanks.